I mean, expectations were low. But jeez, that was bad. Well, it's finished at the Emirates. Arsenal 4, Newcastle 1. We weren't expecting much from the game, but my word, Newcastle failed to put in a performance, to say the least. Big news straight away from the team sheet. Livramento finally got his chance and Big Dan Byrne was dropped. Isaac was back to lead the line up top. Willock was on the bench, who eventually got the goal. More on that later. Martin Dubravka was a poorly sausage, so in stepped Loris Karius as well. Look, the game itself, Arsenal were fantastic. To a man, men against boys, brilliant. Arsenal were superb, but we're obviously here to talk about Newcastle's performance or lack thereof. Um, for a minute one, Arsenal pressed like we did last season, and we just couldn't, 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 ha couldn't cope with it. Couldn't hack, hack it. It just seemed like for every Newcastle player on the pitch, there was two Arsenal players. They were just couldn't get hold of the ball, couldn't get a foot into the game. Second best all over the park. It was a it was a pathetically abject display. Not one player played well tonight um, from that starting eleven. Um, really disappointing. Again, expectations were very low coming into this. Um, the biggest concern for me, and it just won't be me as well, but the the defence looks absolutely terrible. Um, Sven Botman is a man really out of form. Look, class is permanent, but Botman is in terrible, terrible form. Him and Cher were both absolutely pathetic tonight. Um, Cher will kind of get away with it a bit more because of his um, form going forward. Um, but defensively, they were both absolutely shocking. Um, Dan Byrne can't be the scapegoat today, so that will probably go to Sean Longstaff. Um, but yeah, Livramento... Did he handle Saka? No, he got turned inside out for that goal. But um, <coughs> it is what it is. I kind of don't want to be too harsh because, well, maybe I should be because of the, the levels of performance. Look, positives. Positives. Uh, Bruno didn't get booked. Um Positives. Newcastle have taken more points off Arsenal this season than they did last season. And we scored a goal at the Emirates for the first time since 2014. Great. That's the positives out of the way. Just utterly anonymous all game. Absolutely pathetic. The first goal, calamity of errors. We've conceded two goals from set pieces. This one goes down as a Botman own goal. Decent stop by Carrius. And for those thinking, oh, Carrius did really well tonight. Mm. He, he shot stopped. Didn't command his area very well. I thought he grew into the game okay, but I would not be latching on to positives about Loris Carrius whatsoever. Um, if Dubravka's fine on Tuesday, he goes straight back in. <coughs> Calamity of errors for the first goal, as I say. Second goal, uh, Trippier couldn't deal with the movement. Um, the whole defence couldn't deal with the movement. It was a well-worked goal from Arsenal, but absolutely pathetic from Newcastle. And we were lucky to get into half-time at 2-0. Um, no changes were made, but it was clear Eddie Howe wasn't happy and a rocket was fired up their backsides. They came out and did a lot better for the first kind of 15 minutes of the half. Isaac um, did some nice touches and was starting to get into the game, but then he got took off. Now, I know it was because, you know, bringing him back into the side, he'd got an hour, that's probably enough. Huge FA Cup game on Tuesday. I know, I get it. It's just a little personal frustration because he was starting to get into the game. He'd had nothing to go on all first half. Had a couple of half chances here and there. Did some nice... Footwork, pulling in from the left, fired over, um, and then got took off. It is what it is at the end of the day. Um, <coughs> off he went with Almiron, who again was poor. Um, on came Barnes and Murphy. Murphy has been poor as well the last few games. Gordon then moved up to the centre and was anonymous when he was in the centre. 
was okay on the left, got our first shot on target in the 55th minute. Um, <coughs> forgive the coughing, I have a horrible stinking cold, which uh, is persisting not to bugger off. But yeah, created nothing. Uh, another little positive, Joe Willock. We've said in the past few weeks in my own videos as well how much we've missed Joe Willock. Um, when he, Byrne and Lascelles came on, looked a little bit more solid. Obviously, um, the good start to the second half we had just completely evaporated when uh, Saka turned Livermento inside out. Um, all from a Botman pass. Well, all from Sven Botman giving the ball away. Absolutely so sloppy. In possession, Botman's had an absolute shocker tonight, an absolute shocker, and then it was it was game over. Um, it then goes to four nil. Just <clears throat> yeah, momentum killer. But Willett got a great goal, great cross from Dan Burn. Um, Fantastic looping header from Willock. And hopefully, you know, he can stay fit now because he could be massive. I'm looking forward to a bit of interplay between uh, down the left between him and Barnes, him and Gordon. So that's, that's, that's another little positive. But you're really, really clutching at straws. Arsenal were, were better everywhere on the pitch. If you're going to knock how you could kind of say, could, should he have played with a back five, but he stuck with his principles like he did at the Emirates last year, which worked with a nil-nil draw. But yeah, it was it was it was really really grim today, um, and the response is needed. The FA Cup game at Blackburn in midweek is make or break for the season. We should be going there, getting a win, keeping that FA Cup dream alive, keeping the season alive. Um, because we're going to be in a real battle for European football now to get to Europa League or Conference League or whatever, Conference League probably at this point. Um, but yeah, Arsenal had their revenge, but we still had more points off them because of that win at uh, St. James's. Earlier in the season, Lee and Harry are at the Emirates. Um, it's pointless asking for a man of the match because there just wasn't one from a Newcastle, Newcastle perspective. Good job we don't do scoring the players anymore because there'll be a lot of ones and twos, uh, I think, after the, a display like that. Um, yeah, like the video just for sympathy. <laughs> and uh, stay tuned for the vlog and last word coming up through the night and in the morning and the women's game. Uh, the Time for the more dominant species to show the men how it's done and uh, get to St. James's Park tomorrow for the League Cup semi-final Newcastle women against Portsmouth women. Be there. And uh, other than that, stay tuned to Newcastle Fans TV.